Hello everybody, this is Daniel Hood at HavenEcho.com and I want to show you guys uh, the render panel in Blender and tell you what that is all about. Um, so we have our scene here. Uh, it's just a regular scene when you press new it's a cube lamp and uh, camera. I can press zero to go into the camera view and I can render this. So. I'm going to go ahead and render it real quick. Just a regular cube and what's so what's so crazy about that? Uh well, we have this render panel. I'm going to press exit to go back into the regular view, 3D view, and I want to talk about this render panel right here. We have uh an image and an animation button under render. So this is basically saying, all right, I want to render a whole animation because this object is going to move. So when I press animation, it's going to render every single frame from the start frame to the ending, and that's 1 to 250. Uh, but we're just going to render a picture out right now. Uh, we can do that by pressing image. Uh, the shortcut is F12, and if you want to do the shortcut for animation, it's control F12. Okay. and we also have layers. Uh, this is used for rendering only specific layers at once. Like, let's say you had like different scenes with different layers, and you just want to render out specific layers and such. You would use that panel. Um, and we have dimensions. Uh, this is probably the most important one. Uh, there's some presets in here. There's a uh, like HD TV, 1080p. That would be uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, 100%. And 720p would be 1280 by 720 pixels. And that's what you would do for YouTube uh, if you were to get YouTube. And this right here is saying, okay, do you want all the 1280 by 720 pixels? Uh, well, you say, yeah, 100%. So when I render this, it's going to be full 1280 by 720 pixels. Okay. And if I do 50, it's going to be half that, but it's going to keep the same ratio. And I guess that's pretty cool if you like want to just like test some things out and if it takes like a while to render. So these render settings are variable. There isn't really like a best render settings. Uh, this person asked me one time. There is no best render settings. Uh, but this is the, one of the most important ones. If you can have the frame range, you can divvy it up right here and say I only want the first frames of the animation to play. Well that would change this little thing down here. Okay. And yeah that's basically it for that. Uh, there's the aspect ratio. You don't really want to change this at all unless you're really smart and you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> we have a frame rate so if you want the sequence when you export your video, if you want the sequence to be not as fast or a lower frame rate, like 15 frames per second, we could change it right there. Okay, and then we have anti-aliasing. That's kind of specific to uh, the actual codec. Um, sampled motion blur, shading, don't really need to mess with those. And we have output. Uh, this is where your file is actually saved. And you can click on here and say, I want to export an MPEG, H.264. For YouTube, I do MPEG and do RGB. And if you have like a PNG file and you also want the alpha to show through, like the sky, you don't want that to show through, you can click RGBA. Um, so it's kind of really just like what you want. <laughs> there isn't a best one or uh, an easier one. And baking, this is for doing like really crazy physics simulations. And it's also used for a lot of other things, but it's really specific. Uh, so really, if you want the best render settings, like, you know, the best perform, I mean, not the best performance, but the best... Uh, like high HD view, uh, you just have to go down to uh, dimensions. You can select a preset, and HD TV 1080p would will be the best. 
And you can even make it bigger. If you want to make it like twice as big, you can just uh, keep the aspect ratio by multiplying both of these values by two. And that's kind of it about the render panel. Uh, and yeah, uh, when I start showing other tutorials about doing specific effects, uh, that's when Blender really becomes powerful and then we might need to use all these other menus, but that's the basic overview. Just pay attention to dimensions and the output and what animation and image does. Thank you for watching. This is Daniel Hood at Haven of Code. Peace.